Well, it's Sunday. I don't even know what time it is right now. It is uh, a little after 12. We are out metal detecting and just found a can, Coors can, and it's a pull tab. So 70s, 60s, 70s. Still enough riding on here. I should be able to get a date off of it. But that's what an old pull tab can looks like. At least it's Coors. Yep. Breakfast is Champions. Yep. So we'll see what else we can find today. 1986, modern, probably modern. Old 410 shotgun slug, coins. Anheuser Busch, pull top can, of course. Pull top can, Milwaukee Best. Piece of pipe, cans, face plate to radio. Coca-Cola top with the three dollar signs on it. Pull tabs, nothing too terribly special. Actually, it's cold. We're on top of the top of the mountain now. We're gonna go see if we can find some stuff. Right on top of the ground. Familiar. Literally sitting on the ground. I seriously doubt a metal, another metal detector person's been up here. Look at this. Slits. Ooh. Right on top of the ground. Yeah, so that's what that one is too. Slits. As I say it. Literally picked it off the ground. I have a big old. Oh, this sucks, pocket. by the way. Walking through a bunch of thorny stuff. It's pretty bad. My grandparents what? have the big globe. Really? Yeah. yeah. In there color. You. Uncrushed. Damn near good, con perfect condition. Much more modern Coca-Cola. This still has the Coke in it. It's sealed. The labels come off of it. Gross. But it's still sealed. That's cool too. What year do you think this is? Yeah. 81. Huh? 81. Steel sealed. We would find these caps all the time, so now we know the caps are from 81. There's another bottle, another bottle, another bottle. Big modern bottle up there. Ton of trash over here. Good place to hunt for coins. But found a modern arrow in the ground. This has got a lead tip, so this is target practice. So I'm assuming whoever lived in this house was shooting arrows. And that's where it landed. It's an Easton arrow. Arrow. We ran over to the store. Grab a few things real quick. Cargo's too expensive to do the full shopping here, so we just kind of get what we need and then uh, get everything else at Walmart. Don't trust the meat at Walmart, so we we come here to get the meat. But I got That's fish gorgeous. sticks. Not the greatest place to get keto friendly stuff. They don't come right much. You have what? Keto friendly things. First world problems. Yep. Don't have enough keto selection. But we're gonna get this, go home, put the food away, grab the dogs, and then I want to go to Waffle House. Because I just learned they have a T-bone steak on the menu for like nine bucks. Great, she's buying weird things. Well, I couldn't film while we were inside, but we just ate at Waffle House. They were uh, playing music in there, so you get a copyright infringement if you record the music. But yeah. I got the sirloin. I usually get the pork, uh, chops. pork chops. And you told me do not get the T-bone. It's terrible. So I skipped on and got the sirloin. And it was... Uh, mm. God, I've seen... Uh, you know those stickers you put on your back to 
<laughs> no. It's about as thick as a piece of ham. Yeah, but it wasn't the size of a piece of ham at all. Yeah, eleven dollars. Don't recommend it. Get get the twin pork chops. They're actually pretty good. Now the grilled chicken bacon sandwich is delicious. Mm. See, a lot of people don't like eating at Waffle House, and we rather enjoy it. The whole thing was thirty-two bucks. I'm full. Oh yeah. It wasn't delicious. It wasn't great. It wasn't any of those things. That's not how you describe Waffle House. You, it's filling and hearty and cheap. You can eat there being completely full and it's less than the price of eating pho or eating anywhere else. Now the steaks, it's terrible to say the least. I, I didn't enjoy it at all. Um, one of these days I'll try the T-bone just to try the T-bone, just so I've had it. Then I'll go back to eating the pork top dinners. But was not good. No. But I'm full. Okay. And that's what's what important. Yeah. Think the dogs want to go to PetSmart? Probably. Or should we? They were pretty mad they didn't get to go anywhere. Or should we just go back to working on the computer? We might have to go back and work on the computers more. But I just fit all, all the stuff to get monetized. So two years it took me to get 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. Two very long years. And it's probably gonna be another month for me to get fully monetized and for them to accept everything and all that kind of stuff. So finally, after all this, channel still doesn't get very many views probably not going to get very many views for a while but if I keep at it I keep doing a daily vlog eventually I'll get bigger oh, yeah. get... and I'm gonna go back to trucking in July and that will probably help quite a bit as well but for now I'm happy I had a big milestone and I'm happy it's finally started after all this time so, we'll see you guys tomorrow.